Hey, what's going on? I want to go ahead and take a minute today to teach everybody how to get a better sounding microphone just by downloading some software and playing with the configuration. So if you head on over to vbaudio.com and migrate to their audio apps page, you're going to be looking to download two pieces of software. Uh, we need the VB cable virtual audio device and we also need the actual voice meter application. So go ahead and download these EXEs, get them installed, and we will look to configure them. So after you've installed the voice meter application, but before you launch that application, we need to change our default input device to that voice meter. So migrate over to the sound settings in the Windows options and do that now. Right here. Now we can go ahead and launch our application. So you do a voice meter, it's gonna bring it up. Sometimes it takes a minute to actually launch the engine, uh, but you can see even right now, my voice is generating some levels. So the way that you test your levels is by unchecking this M button right here, which I will do momentarily, but once I do it, there's probably going to be a few of my own voices and it gets really difficult to help to hear yourself talk and to form actual sentences when you're talking but um just for the purpose of the video i'll show you what it sounds like just real quick and i'm not even i'm not even sure what it's going to sound like on the playback but here we go i can't even i can't even think <laughs> so that's what it would sound like um you know if you are listening to yourself and i do highly recommend you do so when you're playing with your settings because if you don't uh if you can't hear yourself real time you know when you're making adjustments like i'm doing now and i'm sure this is changing my voice but you know i have no idea what this actually sounds like but once you have the application launched and you have your hardware input device selected you're going to be graded with a couple of options um, i chose the mme because this is a native uh, platform for windows that is the most recent that is the most recent of the two but after that it's really a matter of figuring out what type of sound that you want your microphone to produce do you want to be sounding really kind of low do you want something kind of crispy and high you can even implement some type of echo right and i can't really hear i can't really hear exactly what i'm sounding like because i have my m button muted but for a moment, I'm going to calibrate my own microphone and, you know, you're going to see what that sounds like. So what I normally do is I just kind of keep talking and hello, 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 test, test, test. Usually, usually I say short words like crisp, crisp, test, test, just to see what it sounds like without, you know, trailing my sentences. So, I kind of test, test. I kind of already figured out where uh, my settings, where I want my settings to be. And for me, it's right in the middle between low and high, uh, because I feel like I kind of have a neutral voice where it's not low, but at the same time, it's not really high pitch. So I don't really need to compensate for that. We'll keep that right in the middle and I bring the echo down just a little bit but then you can also adjust your fader gain here. And I have a Blue Yeti microphone, so it also, it also straight on the back of the microphone has an option to adjust the gain. So I set the gain on the physical microphone to about 25%, and then I adjusted my slider here. I didn't do anything with mono or stereo. I left that default in the audibility. I noticed that when I increased it on my microphone, it sounded really like, it sounded boomy, really boomy. Same with these settings here. These didn't really change too much for me. But ultimately, once I, really, I think the, the magic is in this IntelliPan here and the fader gain. Once you kind of dial in to a sound that you like, I think that, you know, it sounds much better than your microphone sounded before and I'll give you a quick before and after here momentarily. I can take you from sounding kind of gainy and muffled like this to sounding just a little bit more crispy with a lot less background noise like I sound right now. So that's really all it takes to improve your USB microphone quality. 
but if you're interested in taking your audio quality to the next level, you're going to need to invest in an XLR setup. But other than that, I hope you guys take your setup quality just up another notch with this video, and I will see you next time.